Uh, Mike, what have you got for us this week? Well, I had originally uh, talked about Jaws a few minutes ago at the drive-in. And that was my main purpose for going. I've been trying to get to the drive-in more often. My, my love for the drive-in experience, that's pretty much become the way I want to experience films from now on. I really, I mean, six bucks to get in, it's two movies. You know, they got cheap concessions. Uh, you got your own private space. You're not bothered by people talking or looking at their fucking phones or whatever <laughs> they're doing besides watching the movie. It's like, hey, assholes, I paid to watch this. Let's shut up, you know. But it's like you, you movie theaters are so expensive now anyway. By the time you even get sat down, you've already spent way too much money. Yeah. Drive-ins are great. Uh, but the first feature with Jaws that I decided to go ahead and watch anyway, even though I hadn't, you know, was E.T. Now, I haven't seen this film in 15 years, and I, you know, it is what it is. I saw it in a the theater in 1982. I didn't expect, but I had forgotten that's not a bad flick. I actually sat there and, and found, except for Elliot's voice, I wanted to reach into the screen and strangle that person because, <laughs> God damn, he hit, I'm sure he hit notes that made dogs want to kill people. <laughs> screeching man but actually i thought it was a pretty well-made flick and i'd forgotten about it i haven't seen it in about 15 years kind of wrote it off and so i enjoyed it uh next week it's a double feature I, i'm really hoping i can carve some time out to go check it out but it's howard the duck with weird science mm. good combo that's a good combo i mean yeah. howard the duck is is, is marvelously horrible <laughs> i i it's Disturbing horrible, and I love it because it's horrible. Yeah. It, yeah that love course, scene is classic. Of course, it's got Leah Thompson <laughs> in it. I mean, she's my 80s crush, so and she's, she, you know, good enough it, reason it to didn't, watch it right it, there. It, it, it didn't knock her down a peg or two? No. Her having no, I, making I actually, love to a uh, duck? <laughs> that was so weird to it see in the so, theater with my mom. <laughs> it, it, it was gloriously horrific. <laughs> I don't know. It's I, I love that movie in spite of itself. Uh, now, it's it's also a film that might be problematic nowadays to modern audiences, which I find even more entertaining. And and here, here's here's a tidbit that you all may not know. Without Howard the Duck bombing as hard as it did and sending Universal into such financial constraints, we may not have gotten Jaws the Revenge. So <laughs> God bless. Well, really. Hey, hey, hey. And, and I, people shit on that movie. See what it did right there. Come on. <laughs> I want to see the 2021 reboot where Gary Oldman makes love to the duck. Mm. Wow. That's hey. what we need to see. Why not? Damn. Hey, let's do it. <laughs> but weird science is another one of my favorite films of the eighties. Love it or hate it. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, Oingo Boingo. Uh, yeah, it, it, the cast is great. Paxton. Paxton. Uh, it, 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 I don't know. It, to me, it's probably a film that would again be considered problematic by today's audiences, but it's 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 a comedy, people. Can we lighten up a little bit? Nobody mm -hmm. got hurt. It's entertaining. It's just funny. You know, there was no damage done to anybody permanently. It was just a stupid movie. Mm -hmm. Uh I don't know. I, I I love weird science, so that's definitely a double feature that I'm thinking about checking out. Just because, why not? I mean, how bad shit insane is it in 2021 to be able to go to a drive-in and see Howard the Duck in Weird Science? How how can you say no? Mm -hmm. uh, so the drive-in's been a incredible uh, outlet for me as far as being able to, you know, because I love drive-in theaters. I love the experience, and just being able to see these old films. Uh, uh, projected on the screen. It's just, and man, the crowd for Jaws, the place was packed. It was amazing. It's like ET had a decent amount of people, but then when Jaws was getting ready to start, it was like, boom, all these cars showed up. I was like, wow, that's cool. I was really happy to see that. Uh, so, yeah, great experience all around. I can't wait to go back and definitely thinking if I carve out some time to check out that double feature next week. Uh, but a movie I wanted to talk about uh, tonight. That sometimes I seek out movies when I'm interested in something like The Shining, right? It's just kind of a dark, heavy, makes you kind of think and wonder about existence or whatever it is that, that, that they present to you. But then there's sometimes where you just want some lighter fare and entertainment. 
uh, I found one just scrolling through Shutter the other day where I was like, yeah, what the hell? This sounds interesting. It's called Necrotronic. It's about a group of necromancers that are born with the magic ability to summon demons and then kill them. Uh, a demonic force. I want to try not to say too much about the plot because I want to leave what plot is there, you know, to be discovered. Uh, a demon has discovered that they can possess souls through the internet using a phone game app. So it kind of has a very light Romero-esque social commentary, kind of like Dawn of the Dead with the cons this movie with everybody staring at their fucking phones all the time, allowing the phone to absorb their, you know, totally absorb their personality, making them zombies. Uh, the zombies in the film are way more like uh, deadites. So it's like a weird combination of like Ghostbusters, Evil Dead, and, and uh, some people said Matrix, but I don't really see a lot of the Matrix in it. Uh, it is it, it is very entertaining. It's a very quick paced, very nicely paced 96 minute movie. Uh, it's it's for, it's an Australian production. Uh, it's hilarious in spots, uh, never boring. The effects are a mixture of practical and uh, CGI, and they're both I thought well done, and I was happy to see that. Uh, the the lead guy uh, kind of reminded me of. Uh, a Sam Rockwell type actor, but maybe not on that level, but you could still see like Sam Rockwell, maybe from galaxy quest playing this role. I, I don't know. I, I, I thought it was very entertaining. Uh, the acting was great. Uh, there's a character actor uh, that plays the father of the, of the family. I mean, he's been in, uh, I forget his name, but he was in 300. He was in Van Helsing. He was in a couple of the Lord of the Rings movies once you see him, you be like, oh, it's that guy. You know, he's just a character actor. Uh, he's in it briefly, but you know, he adds to it. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, of course, they, you know, the necromancers have to band together to bring down this demonic force that's about to absorb one million souls through a phone app that's kind of a Pokemon Go-esque game where you go around catching ghosts with the game, like Pokemon type thing. Uh, I was just thoroughly entertained by it. It's a real quick 96 minutes. And just for entertainment value alone, if you just want something to, you know, just make you happy. You know, it's one of those type of movies. It was like I was happy I watched it. Is it as good as Ghostbusters? No. I mean, what? what why does it have to be? But it's still, for what it is, highly entertaining. And I do recommend it. I saw it too, Mike, actually. I enjoyed it quite a bit. It's been a few months at least, but uh, yeah, and better CG than you will see in Justice League, so that's a very good recommendation for anybody out there that, that wants to check that out. I, I love Australian cinema in general. I've and, been a big yeah. uh, Ozploitation fan myself, yes. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a fun movie. You should definitely check it out if you haven't. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's very fast paced. It 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 flies by. Um, it's got great energy, great comedic timing. Yeah, I mean there there is a lot of CGI in it, but it's almost part of the aesthetic of the movie because it integrates the game concept. And so it's not quite as um, egregious as something that's relying on the, the CGI as the thrill. It's really the breakneck speed of the film that's that's the main attraction, as well as a lot of really fun quippy dialogue. Oh yeah, there's. If if you think Australian slang and and the way they uh, banter is hilarious, then you'll really enjoy it on a whole nother level. Yes, it's got the conversational profanity isn't necessarily Rob Zombie levels, but it's definitely there. But I don't think it ever seems out of place, and and when it does, it has a comedic effect every time you hear it. It's like, wow, what did you say? That was hilarious. Yes. Uh. Cool. Yeah, I'll have to look into it. I've, I've not heard of it. And another trope on YouTube, besides uh, clickbait titles, is that I must say that I'm in no way compensated by Shudder. I was not paid for this review. Okay, and I, was, and I didn't watch it for free because I've been a longtime subscriber, even before Joe Bob came back, uh, came back on Shudder. 
Okay, so I've been a longtime subscriber. I paid to watch the film because I pay the monthly fee, and I received no compensation for this review. <laughs> Shudder gets all the respect in the world from me for, and I'm not paid by them either, uh, for all the great foreign horror that they get up there that actually gets some traction by being on Shudder. Uh, I think they're very important going forward for our genre. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And they've got a great, a great uh, library of, of of movies on there. A lot of great stuff. Mm. So, you know, yeah. people discovering what a Jalo is, maybe exactly. right now through Shutter, and that mm -hmm. you know they're bringing that. I I, I love Shutter. They're saying that Monica Bellucci is in that Necrotronic. I I'm sold. Yeah. She's yes, she is. I love yeah, her. She plays the main villain. She's really good. Oh, oh she's cool. the villain. Oh, that's even better. I like that. Just like this, be sure to subscribe to the Region Free YouTube channel and also check out the Patreon to get exclusive content and become a Regionaire.